Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just playing Danny with me, Danny. Um, please do not freak out. I know you are not used to me talking in English for the video. I plan on doing the whole video in English because. The topic is mental health. The month of May is the month of mental health and I think it's a topic that is really important since as it's quite neglected in this country, in our context because most of the times people think that mental health is all about people that have been involved in mystical stuff or like you'll be a mental patient will mean that People have, must have done uh, mystical things on you and you turn that way or you did not respect the condition of the mystical rules you went into and that's quite complicated and also people think, people say, they often say that when you present mental symptoms it's because you are simply a weak person you have a weak personality and so on and so forth so the video of today is about makeup being therapy in fact for me i will give you some context about mental health and i hope everything is going to be fine and smooth and then just let's start the video as i'm starting with my face this is the I am going to reproduce on the other side and um, my base is already done I've already primed and put my foundation on that's all my brows are already done I don't like doing too much to them so this is the eye I'm going to do just pay attention because I don't I don't know if I'll be able to talk concentrate give you all the information you would like to have and be commenting the makeup. I'll start with priming my eyelid. Mental health is composed of all those things that are affecting your mood, your way of thinking, and your behavior. So, and you have the most common type of symptoms that you can present about mental health. So normally you're supposed to always be I would say the type of person you are and mental health is not really involving you know in life you have your ups and your downs and um, it is totally different because according to the most the mostly represented type of mental symptom that you can actually encounter socially you have depression you have anxiety you have um i'll take this one and put it on my crease and above you have anxiety you have bipolar people and that's actually the three main ones that you can that you can actually meet everywhere around so you also have all these kinds of personality disorders and psychotic disorder the disorders you hear people talking about schizophrenia okay see this is really something important people should not neglect it parents should not neglect it because it is known to appear during um, adolescence to adulthood so a kid that you will know used to be always joyful always mm, quiet with people good kind and all these things he will start behaving a kind of way you do not re recognize your child you will not recognize your kid and sometimes because most of times people know people know that others think it is something like that is out of normality they will hide i will hide i've been hiding it until i did not i was not able to fit my my whole my whole body again this kind of problems can lead to suicide 
and here in africa especially in cameroon i'm not sure that people understand and they get why somebody can be feeling so bad the person will want to die i don't extend up to that level but it doesn't mean that it is not a big deal it is a big deal and you can lose someone you love like that just like that and it is such a bad idea such a bad experience this thing is so lowly i don't know if it can be said like that this thing is so lowly diagnosed that people always miss it because people are always hiding it. and there are not many hospitals that are taking care of this kind of trouble which is really a shame because this is something that can affect you you are no more productive to the society you are like a bullet to your family and friends and you cannot really do you cannot do you cannot be your normal self which is not good because you're feeling bad you're not okay and most of the times people cannot even tell you why they are not okay and this is really 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 not good at all if i have for example to tell my own personal experience of symptoms that are presented the color i was using was this purple then now i'll go to this orange shade i can't really say that i am a mental patient i am in a i have a degree to tell you that you're not okay and you have no you have no other thing but to listen to what i have to say even though you don't want to take it so i make my job anyway when i was in fifth year a medical student i went to do my internship in boya it's a really lovely town the kind of town where i would like to go and spend some time whatever but the thing is i was going there for um, to study so it was not really they were not really vacation it was really hard it was really a hard time for me you know a place where at first you don't know much people and people are not basically your friends you may not really be like at your ease like you used to be so it would be really really complicated so next color will be this pinky pinky this pink at the moment there i just cracked up and i was really feeling bad really bad I ca and i could not really tell why i was feeling so bad then when i arrived there i was like arriving there behind another friend who con he who's like how fabulous is it il m'a confié à un de ses amis là-bas qui était comme mon grand frère. That guy was really sweet. He was like another brother to me. He tried his best because he was the first person there to tell me seriously, Danny, you're not fine. And I don't understand. It is something that I cannot help you since you cannot even tell me what is going on. So I need you to do just one thing. Just one thing I need you to do. You will call someone. I'll use this shade here. You will call someone and you will tell the person you are not okay. If you have a boyfriend, call your boyfriend and tell him that if he can, he could come and visit you because you're not okay. At that point, I could no more hide anything because I'm the kind of person that whenever you will say, Oh, how are you? I'll always tell you, No, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. But I cannot be. In fact, I could be lying. But I could be lying because I'll be thinking in my little head that, No, you may have your own issues and I don't want to. to to disturb you with my own and all these things and all these things which is absolutely stupid let me tell you because if you have real friends around you never hide things from them 
always share with them because they'll always be there for you. I was in Boya there back then with one of my closest friends and true she had her own issues but at that period when I was feeling really bad unconsciously she was really right by my side and she was always 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 keeping her eye on, on me. It's a really it's like it's hard and I remember those things and I feel like I want to cry. Cry is okay but I don't want to ruin my face. Okay so okay back then they just did all kind of things they could to help me i was going to try i was traveling to Dola much more to go and see my other sister she was there my boyfriend also there and from that time on many things changed and i decided that i need to take some time some time for me just to be sure that I don't mess up my life. Maybe when I talk, I would not really understand, you don't really get the point where I'm going to. Okay, let me finish up this liner and tell what kind of things made people know that I was not fine. Now I can put mascara, I will continue. So, I was, um, personally, I present most of times like trouble of moods and eating disorders because i can switch up from being happy to being really calm silent not talking to anyone not wanting to speak to anyone or i can be simply um i can switch from eating too much taking weight having straight mark and as soon as I will realize that I have stretch marks I will really switch up to not eating sometimes two days three days and I will not mind it I will get headache I will have severe signs of hypoglycemia and then I will turn again so these kind of things are really 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 awkward because sometimes people are really ashamed to talk about it with with your closest person around and you should not and you should really not i know it is tough i know it is tough because it's something that is not really well accepted in our context but you should overcome that fear to let people be around you to let people surround you and help you to go better so what can i do to what can what so the things that i do to step over these kind of things are first I really I really try to make things I, I try to do things most of times that make me happy to to breathe self-love because doing Doing those kind of things is really, 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 really helping me about because it's at that period, at that period, I was not liking my hair, I was not liking so many things about me. So, simply, like a big girl, I decided to turn natural. And I decided to turn natural some, a few moments after, I also decided that I will start to I will learn how to do my makeup. Started learning how to do my makeup. I was already having my Facebook page about natural hair. I was helping some people as soon as I tried learning things and soon and as soon as mom has a shop where she, where she sells so many things and I I buy some she tries she gives me some to try and it really 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 helped me to take care of myself to think first about myself and I was and it was really 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 a good thing to me it saved me it saved my life I cannot believe it that I can say today that Turning natural saved my life. It's like it's insane, but it is true. Okay, and taking the time to do things that you like and really makes you happy is also a great thing because like that you feel, I don't know, you feel happy, you genuinely feel happy 
you cannot you can do it alone or you can do it with other people in fact i'm i'm jiggling like that because i'm looking for my concealer with something else you can do to help you is spending time with your family good family time no stress time with your friend with your boyfriends with your homies is also a great 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 thing believe me i know what i'm talking about and also seek for peace if you are a christian go to church pray meditate if you are not that type of person do yoga do um meditation have those 10 to 15 minutes in the day where you really try to have this communion with yourself which will be really 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 a good thing for you eat safely because sometimes you really need that moment to really be yourself or to really feel that you are safe and all those of your insecurity all those of your insecurities will be gone and you feel so much better sometimes about this so do not neglect yourself always try to do things that will make you happy avoid stress it will only be a benefit for you i hope that all those things that i'm saying you will get me okay so Today, I was using the Sasha powder. I think I put too much. And I have a new setting spray too. I'll be baking a little bit because I am always afraid of baking. Anyway, that was it for mental health. As far as I could talk about it, and I hope that it will really help you. I really do. And I hope it will also help you to be more tolerant about it with others, with other people that will present those kind of those kind of symptoms because it's not an easy thing to deal with. And when you feel like you are alone in this whole thing it's really really something that is frustrating it does not really motivate you to go towards people so be tolerant please it's not an easy thing anyway you already know my powder i really used it a and this is how much is remaining there you can already see the bottom of the pan this was a really 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 hard video to make for me and i really hope that my message will get up to you and yeah, that's I'll just take a sweep like this and I'll highlight my face. Okay. Okay. I don't really like contouring my face and then when I don't contour my face, it's like and I don't have an adequate bronzer. So when I don't contour my face, people will be like, oh, it's like you have taken weight. I'm not taking weight. It's just that I don't contour my face and I won't do it until I find a nice contour product or a nice bronzer product for my face. So today, I'll be testing out this Milani Mist and Fix that I found at a grocery store. And this thing is praying like, no, I cannot do it like that. I, have, I still have that elf bottle and I'll put it inside because I prefer that bottle. And you'll see how I rather prefer that one. And you will see the difference so look at it yes that is something i like so yeah now my lips i don't know i really want to go nude but i also want to wear color for one time because i don't like really changing my habits i don't know it makes me really feel uncomfortable but Maybe I should try. Or I will do both. I will do both. I will use this one to line up my lips. And then I will use the other one. To fill my lips. Yeah. I like this. And guys. That's it for the look of today. How do I look? 
I hope the video will interest you and help you and if it is the case just thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell never to miss any time post and upload and I really really think that the subject of today really matters to you as it matters to me because it's something that is really neglected and sometimes you may not know me but you may lose someone you really love just because you do not know so bye guys